Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than Marvel movies break records. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. It's no secret that Thanos is the big bad in Avengers Infinity War. And one of the reasons he's been built up as the ultimate danger in the MCU over the past 10 years is because he's one of the few villains in Marvel Comics that can and has taken on the Avengers alone. Although the Black Order will have his back in Infinity War. But the point is that while Thanos is extremely powerful, the Mad Titan has been defeated. In fact, he's been defeated by a single person on more than one occasion. So today, I thought it'd be fun to talk about several of them. Again, I'm talking about the times he's been defeated by a single character, not a team or group. First up is the time his son Thane, who was half inhuman, defeated his father in Infinity Issue 6. In this issue, the Avengers, who consisted of Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Captain Marvel, and Hyperion with the help of the Illuminati, Iron Man, Namor, Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, Beast, Black Panther, and Mr. Fantastic couldn't beat Thanos and his Black Order. And just when it looked like there was no hope to keep Thanos from conquering the Earth once and for all, Thane shows up. And because Thane is half inhuman, he has the power to alter existence with his left hand. Nuts, right? But wait, it gets crazier. With his right hand, he can trap anyone in a state of living death. I understand it's an oxymoron, but hey, that's what it's called. And it sounds cool. Anyway, with Ebony Maw provoking him, Thane killed slash trapped his father in an amber-like cube known as Living Death. That's a rough way to go. Next up, we have the time Adam Warlock turned Thanos into stone in Marvel 2-in-1 Annual 2. This story takes place right after Avengers Annual 7, where Thanos has defeated the Avengers and apparently killed Adam Warlock. This led to Spider-Man and the Thing teaming up, attacking Thanos' starship, and freeing the Avengers. Then while the Avengers are fighting Thanos, Spider-Man gets the Soul Stone and frees Adam Warlock. Warlock then says, You have succeeded in releasing me, the ultimate Avenger. A pissed off Adam Warlock then steps toward Thanos and says, That you did, Vile Serpent, yet I could not rest while you remained a threat to my universe. Thanos says, No, stay back, and Warlock literally turns him into solid granite. What's especially nuts about this instance is that it took place in 1977, and we wouldn't see the Mad Titan again until 1990. 13 years later, so readers at the time thought Thanos was dead for good. The next one isn't part of the main Marvel continuity, but it's a fun one nonetheless, and that's when Zombie Hulk killed Thanos in Marvel Zombies 2 Issue 1. As I've mentioned in previous episodes, Marvel Zombies is a storyline where Marvel heroes are turned into zombies. In this instance, what happens is, the zombified heroes and villains are running out of food. So Thanos looks at Hulk and says, we wouldn't be in this situation if this one didn't eat twice as much as the rest of us. Hulk replies with, quiet Prune Chin, Hulk not want more than his fair share. Prune Chin should shut up before Hulk forgets how bad he must taste. Hulk then kills Thanos by smashing his head between his hands, making his head explode. Talk about a gory way to die. Next up we have the time Nebula defeated Thanos in issue 5 of the Infinity Gauntlet story. In this issue, Thanos leaves his physical body vulnerable when he separates from it to fight Eternity. So Nebula seizes the opportunity and takes the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos. She then says, you know what I yearn for, Thanos? Revenge. At which point, she points her finger at him and wishes him away. Now, Adam Warlock would bring Thanos back to take the gauntlet for himself before the story concluded in issue 6, but technically, Nebula still beat him. There's also the time the Gladiator KO'd the Titan in Thanos issue 3. Simply put, Gladiator has been wanting to take Thanos out for a very long time. He even says, if it were up to him, he would team up with anyone to destroy Thanos. But unfortunately, politics got in his way. However, after he learned of a physiological flaw in Thanos, he decided to give it a shot by himself, and literally KO'd him with a single punch, one punch man style, and tells his gang to take Thanos to prison. Simple as that. Deadpool has also defeated Thanos in Deadpool vs Thanos issue 4. In this instance, Thanos and Deadpool team up to save Lady Death. Because as Deadpool and Thanos fans know, there's a love triangle between Thanos, Deadpool, and Lady Death. Anyway, they save her, but immediately afterward, Deadpool finds out Thanos and Death are trying to kill Eternity, which isn't great. So he makes a deal with the Unipower and gains insane power. So much power that he uses it to obliterate Thanos. I guess where there's a will, there's a way. Finally, the last character to take down Thanos I'm going to mention is Drax in Annihilation Issue 4. Long story short, Thanos kidnapped Drax's daughter Moondragon, which of course sends Drax hunting for Thanos. And when he finds him, Drax punches a hole straight through the back of Thanos. And as his fist comes out his chest, we see Drax holding Thanos' heart. It's just amazing. When his daughter asks Drax, what did you do? He replies like a boss and says, what I was created to do. But that wraps up our list. There are a few more characters who have taken down Thanos, but these are some of my favorites. Let us know what yours are in the comment section.
Before we get to this week's buy list, we want to tell you guys about the great people over at Verve who helped make this episode possible. Verve is an awesome digital platform that gathers channels from a bunch of our favorite content creators and puts them all together in one place. And for a limited time, the team over at Verve, spelled VRV, is offering you guys the Variant Nation an exclusive free 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium by going to verve.co forward slash variant or by clicking the link in the description below. That's 30 days to watch a ton of great content, including My Hero Academia Subbed, which is one of my new favorite anime series, but they also have Dragon Ball Super and exclusive shows like Last Man and Season 4 of Bravest Warriors. Verve also features other great content like Rooster Teeth's Anime Ruby and Attack on Titan Season 2, which we are currently watching together on Variant Live either subbed on the Crunchyroll channel or 100% dubbed in English on the Funimation channel. Verve Premium also gives you unlimited access to additional content from channels like Machinima, Cartoon Hangover, Curiosity Stream, and Mubi, all ad-free in 1080p. As if that's not enough, you can sync episodes ahead of time so you can watch them later. And now you could also watch your shows on the go without an internet connection through the Verve app for iOS and Android. You could download the Verve app now on your iPhone, iPad, Android, Roku, even your Xbox or PlayStation so access is crazy convenient. Guys, I'm telling you, we use Verve a ton and we love it, so don't miss out. Go to vrv.co forward slash V-A-R-I-A-N-T or click the link in the description below to get your free 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium now. And when you do, let us know what you're watching so we can check it out too. Again, the offer is only for a limited time, so jump on it, people. First up for Wednesday, April 18th, we have Batman issue 45. Booster Gold has come to Gotham City and he's enlisting Batman and Catwoman to go on a time traveling mission to rescue Booster Gold. Here we have Venomized issue 3. With one of the strongest allies consumed by the poisons, the heroes of Earth must rally and stand against one of their own. Now we have Black Panther issue 172. Claw and his allies have brought Wakanda to the brink of destruction. To seal the deal, Claw has summoned a powerful Marvel foe not seen in years. Here we have Aquaman issue 35. After King Wrath discovers that Arthur is still alive, he sends Aquaman's former ally Merc to finish the job, or else be executed as a traitor. And finally, we have Action Comics issue 1000. This is Action Comics issue 1000. It's literally comic book history. That alone means you need to at least check it out. But that does it for today. Remember to take advantage of that free 30-day Verve offer. The link for that is in the description below. And while you're at it, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You'll find links for all those in the description. And if you like what we're throwing at you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click the bell next to it. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.